creating an account in Lino just takes a few simple steps. Open up your web, web browser and type in the Lino address. This is the home page that you are viewing at the moment. Go up to the top where it says sign up. Click that tab. You'll get a pop-up box where you will fill in your details to create a new account and click OK. This is my login now. I will click OK. You're seeing my page in Canvas and these are the various canvases or boards that I have created before. Yours will be blank if you are a new member to Lino. You'll see this blue square. This is where you click to create your first canvas. It will ask you to give a title for your canvas and I'm going to use this for a project with a class of secondary students. Select different colours or backgrounds for your canvas. I might use the chalkboard style. You just click and it changes and it will indicate what board you're choosing. You have preferences to customise for your board. You can just make it private for your own use. You could make a canvas where other people can view but not post. Or if you wanted to use canvas for a collaborative tool, you would check everyone must can post on this canvas. Show canvas on your dog, email a sticky note, mm, list it on public canvases, no. So this is all up to you how you want to drive your canvas. Click on this button here, create a canvas. You're viewing your blank canvas. Let's get started and put some things on here. First sticky note, on it goes, let's create a title. Animation project. I might like to increase the font to the largest size as this will be my title. You may not like orange, pink, yellow, green, lime green, yes. Post. There it goes there. I can stretch it. There are some editing tools down below and we'll talk about that in a moment. The hand will mean that I can move it wherever I like. If I did, if you hover right at the top, you can see a pin up here. I'm going to click that. That means I can't move it. It's been pinned on my board. I'd like it to stay there. Let's create another post. I might like to say some animation ideas leave that there for the students might like to change the color though of that sticky tag it with ideas and this will allow my students to add collaboratively onto this sticky note I could create an icon and you can set up a system for this for your different purposes. So perhaps every time it's a collaborative, collaborative thinking, I might want them to have a symbol of... There is a light bulb somewhere. Where are you? There you go. Post. There it is. And I'll move it to the side. On your palette here, you've got choices of inserting photos, images, multimedia, and attaching some files. So let's go through those options. Click on for the, fo for the photo. Browse, pictures, and that's the one I'm going to use as an example of a character that I'm thinking about. Type normal, no shadow, or a frame. If you select frame, you can actually write some text underneath. So this is Petal. She's 
she spends her time in the garden. It's quite large. I don't think I want that to be quite large underneath the image there. I can make it private. I don't know. And there it's sitting there. So I'm going to place her to the side. Let's add some multimedia. You've got options where you find your videos. I am going to, I've got a video here already, ready to go. I'm going to copy and paste the URL into the spot there and post. Move that to the side. I'm going to put my mute on, it's quite loud. Press play and it will play within this interface, which is marvelous. <laughs> go to the top to stop playing. Let's insert a file. Now I'm going to choose a storyboard template and ideas for drawing. This PDF is some ideas for drawing on your storyboard. Okay, it might be storyboard. Okay, text and post. I'm going to move that to the side. Students can click the download button and the pop-up box will ask them to save or open very simple and accessible. If you go up to the top here, this just gives you a little bit more ways that you can customize your settings. I'm going to click the second one here about information about this canvas here. If you were wanting to send or embed this canvas into your own blog or your classes blog or a learning management system, you've got three different options here. It works really well when you embed it into a website. If you go down to the bottom right hand corner, there is an arrow here. If you click that, this is displays a mini calendar. You can actually set some of your posts for set it to a due date for it to appear. This pan panel here is navigating your canvas position. If you go to the left hand side, this is a docking station where you can view other canvases. There you go, it's just popped up one of the other canvases. I'm going to go back to my project here. Mm -hmm.